Hello friends, thank you for joining me this morning. Um, something I was thinking about. Um, on Mount Carmel in northern Israel, there is a statue of the prophet Elijah. And it's a, a statue of Elijah and he's standing with a sword in his hand. And the statue seems to shout out that one man can make a difference. And 1 Kings chapter 18 verse 8, the Bible says Elijah is here. Elijah was no superman. But he could pray, and he prayed down fire and water. And we need both of these today. We need the fire of the Spirit and showers of revival. God is looking for men who will say, Here am I, send me. We need Elijah's in our society because the godless are ruling and too many people don't care. The faith that once cost people their lives doesn't even motivate us enough to be faithful to the local church. We are the brave men, men of courage who will stand up and say, Jesus is here. Our prayer must be, turn your hearts back to God. Our hearts can turn to God easily if they are soft in His hand, like soft clay in the potter's hand. If our hearts are hard, it takes a bit more force for them to change, like an explosion. After an explosion, though, everything lands in a different place. Hard things are smashed apart, but flexible things have absorbed the blast and remain intact. Jesus' death on the cross was a violent thing that changed the course of history. An explosion that changed the world. Ezekiel 36 says that God wants to remove our hard, stubborn, stony hearts and replace them with hearts of flesh. Hearts that are responsive and willing to, to obey Him. But what, are, what about hearts that won't turn? God sent His Son to turn the hearts of people back to Him. He sent His Son as a helpless baby to earth. He put His Son in harm's way so that on Judgment Day we could be taken out of harm's way. It's an incredible story. The king of the universe comes to earth as a baby born of a virgin. He's despised by the rulers and holy people of the day. He's put to death on a cross, dying in our place for our sins. Three days later, he rises from the dead and the early church is born. During his short 33 years on earth, there is no TV, no motorized transport, no social media. And yet today, his followers can be found in every corner of the globe. While we were still sinners, he died for us. This Easter, remember this King who died for you and me, and give your life to him. His name is Jesus. He is the Christ. Revelation 1 verse 17 says, When I saw him, I fell at his feet as if I were dead. But he laid his right hand on me and said, Don't be afraid. I am the first and the last. I am the living one. I died, but look, I am alive forever and ever, and I hold the keys of death and the grave. Friends, today, because of what Jesus has done, we can boldly approach the throne of grace. Isn't that so amazing?